and welcome back a beautiful morning in Malta and today we have another bow from F Archery and I was really looking forward to this one it's their version of the crab bow Mughal crab Persian bow however you want to call it so you get a bow sleeve a string and then let's see what we have oh, it's a laminated bow now the length of the bow is 123, the string length is 122 centimeters. Wow! Oh, look at this! Handle wrapping a la Marina almost. Nice. Look at these curves, huh? Nice. Pretty. 36 pound at 28. You can have this bow from 20 to 50 pounds. The max draw is 30 inches. And when you take this measurement of poundage times 6, I guess this bow will have roughly 40 pounds at full draw and then you end up with um, 9 grain per pound which in this case would mean 370 grain. I don't have 30 inch arrows in 370 but 30 to 1 in 380 is the closest but we shoot a few different ones and we see what's doing. So the bow is made out of glass fiber, bamboo and maple. Then we have this nice leather handle here and we have two ray skin arrow passes on both sides so I guess you can shoot this one up and down side. Pretty, there's a nice groove in it for the string guide. The price of this bow is 269 US dollars and for now the only problem uh, AF Archery has is the shipping. They only can ship right now with FedEx which is very expensive that's why they ask you if you order one, get a few means maybe you find some friends or something they want to have one too. Uh, every added bow to the package is only $20 more. So I don't know what the base price is now of shipping, let's say $120 for one bow. You get two bows, it's $140, you get three, it's $160, you get the point. So simply find maybe or do some collected order when you order a bow there. And I only can offer you, again, 10% of the price with the voucher code ARMIN10. That's what I can do. Thank you AF for that. Pretty lightweight, nice curve. So far, looking good. The only thing I worry is a little the max draw, how easy it is to reach. 54 and a half. Error pass is very narrow. And very narrow means 21 millimeters. Very narrow. Pretty. So they say it's kind of a Tatar style ish bow, but of course you have this. The Tatar would only have this one, and here you have all this part as a non bending lever. So the bending section is only here, and this is always where you see then if a bow is well made or not. It's equal because you can shoot the bow upside and downside, I guess. So let's see. We do the method again. I still don't know the name. But of course you saw this video of him. So you step through. Put the lower limb on your upper leg and then you simply bend down like this and it doesn't twist that much. You're more in line with the bow. Make sure that the string is in this groove and here you hold it already in this groove. Then you let go and that was pretty easy. Didn't expect that because the bow has just oh, quite some curves. Look at this. Pretty, huh? How it is supposed to be. And it's lightweight, I can tell you, but I even can tell you how lightweight it is because 325. Lightweight. Handle is a little small for me, but feels very good. So it's really a bit small for me. But the uh, pinky already rests on the lower part of this ray skin and this gives you a nice grip. Nice. So in this direction relatively stiff. I thought it's more wiggly but the most important is here and this is relatively stiff. So we had other bows with extreme curves they started snapping almost. This one is very stiff and what you have as an endurance the string runs here inside. You see that? And not alongside, so it can't slip off here and can cause problems. Very well thought through. If I like that, but that's all for the. Is there a rain cloud coming? Let's warm it up. Ooh. Oh, the 
handle is bending a little. So for me, I have to make the handle a little bigger, then it's not so... Mm. You don't even feel a 36 pound. So this is a 30 inch arrow, but a little too heavy. It's 450 grain, so we end up with 370. Look at this until there, it's nice, still nice, still nice. This bow does out of the box 30 inches. I am really impressed now. <laughs> it kicks the arrows, even a heavy arrow. Wow. I shoot again the 450 grain first. Let we see what it's doing. Draws really, look at this. At the end you really feel then the sears kicking in. So here it's a little heavy and here all of a sudden it gets easier to draw. <laughs> this is nice. That's a nice spot. And a group out of the box. 380 grain, the closest I can get to the recommended draw weight then. What does the hand shock? But of course these arrows are too long. A little hand shock, but might go away. this book <laughs> and 330 grain they're a little too lightweight but only to see what it does oh yeah then, oh, then it shakes in your hand so get nine grain per pound but how oh, yeah and then it hurts so it's too lightweight nine grain per pound just fine and it's just raining seriously at 28 easy 34.7 oh that's clear. almost there that's nice and at 30 easy 39.3 so, and because of these extremes here, look at this, what we have, as expected, at 28, we are not even close there yet, you see that? So, let's go 30. But then the limb really goes backwards here, so, but it's supposed to be seen, not even there. We have a string angle of 60 degrees. Wow, string of 60 degrees somewhere in 31, 32 inches. So I wish we could draw this boat 32 inches, then it would be the perfect one. Look at this pretty one, pretty much very thin sears here. And then you see the string lining up here in the kazan. So the string can't slip off here. Safety feature, very important, I like this. Here you have this slightly refined spine going down, very nice. And then the color combination, the bright wood and then this dark wood here is really nice, pretty. So and here you have this slight reinforcement, then here this layer here for the string groove. Very well thought through. Then in the handle the same, you have the bright color and here the dark one. And the handle looks really nice, you know, looks like Marina. And you have your ray skin, pretty bow. And it's well made, so you can't say anything against this bow. A bit too heavy, 450. On, is this the top part again? Yeah, and there's big written, so you see, on 20 meters. A bit too heavy for this bow, so we see what it does. <laughs> nice. I did not expect that. <laughs> mm. Okay, too low again. 380, but they're a little too long. So these ones, simply two inches shorter, would have the right weight and the right length. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> awesome. Oh, that was a bit of. That was a bad shot. <coughs> So, almost a bit wobbly. So guys out there who are training and practicing, not every shot needs to be perfect. Even my shots are not always perfect, but we strive for perfection in every shot. Okay, so this is more important. 
you will miss sometimes your target and you will hit sometimes your target and the more you properly practice the more you will hit your target but don't get annoyed or put yourself down because you have some bad shots <clears throat> it's normal even i have them so simply practice and believe in yourself i believe in you oh god that's so <laughs> 450 but 30 inches 169 166 this bow flexes beautiful 161 that was not full draw so 380 grain i need to see that i draw them 30 inches 174 180 this is what i expected yes 178 so 180 foot per second ish impressive for this bow seriously some say it's a cheap copy of the Khan from Paragon I don't think so it's not there with the draw length so but it's simply it's not a copy of this one it's simply the design of this bow it's a Mughal crab bow and it's not that they copied Paragon it's simply they try to create this shape and for a laminated bow group I am impressed how this bow performs I didn't expect that speed wise it's nice vibration hand shock no problem you feel it a little but most probably will disappear after time and little cut through string twist and the arrows go so straight it's incredible that's uh, so it's a little tricky you need a few shots even miss even not everything is perfectly lined up but this boat doesn't work that nice but it's a challenge to get this one done so well, now i pimp myself with thumb protect and with this index protector the thumb protection is from tomtech and the index protector is from olivier a friend from France. So then you can do your string twist more pronounced without. Hurting. Oh, look, did you see that? How it works without having your index finger injured. They fly nice, so spine 400, just fine. Nice. And they are 400 too, so same spine, but a little longer means they would have then an effective little less spine. <laughs> Just nice and look, 180 foot per second. Brilliant. This bow is nice and draws 30 inches. Didn't expect it. You hear it a little but it's because the string of course lines up here and runs out here out of this groove you feel it but then one two three, nothing and you feel it in the hand for one two three so it's nothing major you feel it a little it's there but i mean look at the design you can't not feel it the shape I'm in, <laughs> I am no, I'm not in a good shape. Look, 30 inches. And even these 450 grain kicks them away. Like a munch, like a mini munch. See, 30 inches is no problem. So very good AF. It doesn't feel you reach the limit with 30 inches. That's really, really nice. But now, of course, for all you horse archers out there with this handle, easy look at this very easy to do your ink scale look i should not three fingers mid now i had the air on the wrong side i'm sorry this way easy <laughs> wow so this one is the definition of a pressure bow <laughs> like this look at this oops leather was in the way 
and you don't want to put this bow out of your hand of course now we could do more fancy stuff with this but most probably not with this thumb protection here oh it's tricky yeah everything works with this bow so this bow is awesome <laughs> um so you get a bow a string and a sleeve two points unfortunately second string string holder and documentation would be five points handling of this bow as you saw i thought it's more tricky to string but when you use this method it's easy this bow is not wiggling in this direction so it's stiff not a problem even for a beginner and as I said you can have this bow from 20 pounds onwards and I think in 20 it draws even nicer. So this one even for a beginner 25 pounds, wow, five. The build, I have totally nothing to complain. String is nice, finishing is nice, this bow is simply beautiful as it is. So as you see it's, it's nothing to complain. But the basic feel, here even when you draw and twist the bow, the string stays in this groove. So the chance that it will snap like a head with another asymmetrical hand bow, where the string only run alongside the sear, but not in this groove. And when you did something like this a little, and then pew, this one, look, you can abuse this bow and it feels safe and once you draw it it's no problem at all anymore and it always ends up nicely because it's guided here so it can't even go anywhere else nicely in this group really nice so the basic feel handle for me a little too small but i don't count this as a negative thing it's simply me brilliant five and with the draw experience i was totally impressed so we had some bows where there was mentioned max draw is 32 and then they max out at 30 and you need to really <sighs> force the bow to 32 inches this one directly out of the box 28 29 30 would do even more so maybe this bow would do 31 maybe even 32 but they limit it now to 30 inches and the bow reaches easily 30 so well done af i like that maybe you listen to someone who told you five and shooting experience <laughs> out of the box you see when you have the right arrows 20 meter center shots no problem it takes a few shots and you need to perform your shots always very well so this bow shows you directly if you are focused or not if you do something a little sloppy you get punished by this bow but if you do everything right this bow is simply a charm so this bow is forcing you to train properly i like that again that's what five shooting experience awesome you feel a little the kick a vibration is almost non-existent you feel it a little but it's it has to but this is so minimum so you have a total of 27 and price value 270 dollars for a bow in this shape with this performance 180 foot per second with the right uh, weighted arrows and it, look, it looks simply this matte it's not shiny it looks like this is wow simply wow for me of course shipping is now as i said a little expensive so make a collective order get some friends and order direct a few more bows every more bow is 20 dollars the first bow is i don't know 120 or something or i don't know what they found now but you simply check with af i only can offer you 10 percent off then you have 27 dollars off so something covers at least a little with armin 10 larger code so price value five uh, this one i was looking forward when they said that they built now a mughal or a crab bow or a persian bow because it's always tricky in laminated build to get this well performing is not easy but they managed and 30 inch draw if this is enough for you from a horseback imagine this bow in your nice persian suit mail maybe something for you maybe you won't consider not getting another sipahi mm? pretty really and the price is very interesting so this one is <laughs> and you don't want to stop shooting this the draw experience is like 
So from here you feel a little the poundage and then it goes back constantly, constantly, constantly. And then all of a sudden back there, you see when the, when the limb comes in then, <coughs> here, here you feel it. Then here, now the limb starts being coming inward and then of, of, all of a sudden it gets easier. So the last inch gets easier to draw. Kind of feels like this is, yeah. Thank you, F. Archery, for sending this bow to me. Thank you for even building it. It's incredible. So it's worth it. Check it out. I put the link in the description. And don't forget Armin 10, voucher code. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.